Nintendo 64 stuff you saw in a previous video, I sold some of that. I have a friend. He wanted a Nintendo 64. I sold him the console, the hookups, three controllers, Smash Bros, Mario Kart, um, and then some like not so cool games like Double O said in the world is not enough. Extreme G, a wrestling game, Cruising USA, Mission Impossible. And some more little games. For a hundred and thirty five dollars, I gave that all to him. And I know you're thinking that's kinda cheap. But he gave me GameCube stuff in return. So I got GameCube stuff and hundred and thirty five dollars for what I'm about to show you. So We'll start off with, he gave me three controllers. They're all kind of beat up. Whoa. This one's got missing the thumbsticks and it's chewed up by the dog, but whatever. Got that one. Got a off-brand Mad Cats one. <coughs> and a, another orange off-brand Mad Cats one. Then, he gave me the console, but it doesn't work. It doesn't read this. I'm gonna try to work on it, see if I can't fix it. And if I can't, it's no big deal because he just gave it to me. It wasn't like part of the trade. He was just like, here, take it. If you can fix it, great. If you can't, whatever. So uh, he gave me that, doesn't read. He gave me the hookups for it, which I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I'm sure you, if you guys do. Nintendo branded cables, power cables. Easy 10 bucks to 12 bucks on eBay. For GameCube and uh, Nintendo 64. Then he gave me two memory cards, a Mad Cats one times one. I don't know what that means. But, uh, that one, and then this 16. Okay. Got those two memory cards. Then he gave me a bunch of games. This is this is the good stuff. Okay, so I'll start with the stuff that I know that I'm keeping. The first one is Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem, and I know you're like, why are you keeping this? This was a, a childhood game of mine, complete on manual. The next one is Turok Evolution, not complete. The next one is Tony Hawk's Underground. Complete with manual. I have this loose disc for PlayStation 2, but I love this game so much that I just decided to keep it. They don't make Tony Hawk games like this anymore. And since it's complete, I figured I'd keep it. <coughs> Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I never heard of this game, so that's why I'm keeping it. I figured I'd play it, see what it's like. Not complete. Shadow the Hedgehog. Complete with manual. I have a copy of this for the PlayStation 2 that's not complete. So I will be putting that one up for trade or sale. And keeping the complete copy on the game. <coughs> I don't really do the whole duplicate thing unless it's a game that I just really, 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 really like. This is one I've been wanting for a long time on the GameCube. It's not complete, but I'm just happy to have it at this point. Kirby Air Ride. <coughs> Super pumped about this one. I've been eyeing this one for a long time, but haven't pulled the trigger to buy it yet. Metroid Prime with the bonus disc. Complete with manual. Looks like it hasn't been played. Pac-Man vs. and Pac-Man World 2. Complete with manual. Also looks like it's never been played. This is an interesting one because you don't hear about this anymore. <coughs> and I remember playing this with him. I grew up with him. His mom babysat me. So I used to go over to his house and play some of these games with him when I was little. 
So I remember playing this one with them. Uh, and that is Digimon, Digimon World 4. And this was actually a really fun game. It's kind of like RPG with Digimon. I know it's not a thing anymore. It kind of died off because Pokemon kicked their butts. But it was actually pretty fun. And it's complete with manual. And this one I never heard of. I mean, I know the dude. But I've never seen this game before. On GameCube anyways. I've seen it on seeing these people on Game Boy Advance, I think. Um, and that is Metabots Infinity. This guy looks familiar, like I've seen him somewhere else before. But yeah. Not complete. And the last one I'm keeping for sure is Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. And I need you guys help on this one. It's complete with manual. But these discs are sticky. But here's the thing. I don't think it's like, well, I'm really close to the camera. I don't think it's like, like Coke sticky or spill sticky. I'm wondering if like the top layer of the CD came off or something. Because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, on the camera or not. But it's sticky everywhere. The whole disc. They work. The bottom half isn't sticky, it's just the top. So it's like super annoying. I don't know what it is. So weird. I've never seen that before. So I'm wondering is there like a plastic film on the top of the disc that came off maybe? And it's the sticky stuff underneath? Or maybe it is just like Coke or something. But. It wasn't on the bottom of the disc. It wasn't in the case. Like, the case was not sticky. It was just the disc. So, I am very puzzled about it. Very weird. But, they do work. They're just sticky. And I don't know how. It's very weird. <coughs> and then, these next games. Some of them are iffy. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. And then, some of them I'm for sure not keeping. So, the first one is iffy. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. The only reason this is iffy is because I'm obsessed with Dragon Ball Z games. Not complete. I just love them. So, I'm kind of like that person, you know, you, there's that one game that you love so much, or that one series that you love so much, you just can't help but to keep every copy you come across, and you don't know why. This is kind of, for me, even though I have two copies of this game for the PlayStation 2, I'm tempted tempted to keep this one too. I don't know why. It's like a backup to my backup. But uh, I just really love Dragon Ball Z a lot. So I might keep this. I imagine it's probably not worth anything anyways to sell. So I'm probably gonna keep it. I think I just talked myself into it. <coughs> then we have Need for Speed Underground 2. This is kind of another one of those games like pretty sure I have two copies of it on PlayStation 2. But I love it so much. This is like my favorite racing game. So uh, it's complete with manual. But uh, <coughs> at the same time, I'm like, get rid of some of the stuff, Harley. I have like no room on my shelf. No room on my shelf in my closet. I'm running out of space. I'm like stacking up PlayStation 2 games on the floor over there. So uh, I think I need to get rid of this one. This one I'm probably going to sell. I just taught myself into selling this one. <coughs> This one I'm for sure selling is Need for Speed Hot for Pursuit 2. It is complete with manual. Or trading, if any of you guys want to trade. Yeah. And I can, if you know, if I know you or can vouch for you, I'll trade with you guys. <coughs> FIFA Street 2. Now, I put this one in my GameCube. It's not complete. And it worked for a second and then it stopped, but my GameCube kind of sucks, so it might be my GameCube, but I'm not sure. So, I don't know. I don't know if this works or not. It almost worked, but then it stopped, so. But I'm not keeping it. Then we got NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. <coughs> Complete with manual, and the disc looks like, and the manual looks like they've never been used. And we got Medal of Honor Frontline. Not in the regular case. 
I'm not keeping this one. <coughs> this one I'm definitely not keeping. I already have it. And that is Sonic Adventure DX Dresser's Cut. Although I might swap out the labels because this is the black label. So, here we go. Then we got another one I already have. So I'm not keeping it. And that is Luigi's Mansion. Complete with manual. It's a little bit wrinkly though. They should He should have flipped the manual up backwards like Sam Retro does. Uh, but uh, it works fine. And then the last one, and the lamest one in my opinion, sorry if somebody is like a rollerblader, but it is aggressive in line. Um, completely me. The next thing I'm about to show you is gonna go in my friend trade video that will come after the networking video. So here's that after this, okay. So the next friend trade I have, and yes, I'm wearing a different shirt is because I realized that I need to show you guys this in this video and the video is mixed up because I realized I wanted to record things separately so that's why I'm wearing a different outfit than before so there but anyways it's still good stuff either way yeah I'm wearing a different outfit it's still technically recent pickups I just realized I wanted to group the videos in a different way so anyways I didn't want to like change clothes and try to fool you guys or anything like that i'm just going to be real and say hey i record that stuff and realized i wanted to record it a different way so i record the first friend trade i did with the gamecube stuff and now i'm going to show you i traded with my other friend i traded him a god of war game for the playstation 2 a playstation 2 memory card a playstation 2 controller and 25 to life on the playstation 2 and then i just gave him an extra Need for Speed game on the PlayStation 2, and he gave me in exchange. Oh, and I also gave him, and he gave me in exchange for that. He gave me Donkey Kong 64 and Rayman 2: The Great Escape on the 64. So pretty good trade in my opinion for that. And then also he gave me, I gave him a regular black. In the video you saw of the lot of N64 stuff I got, I had a black controller with a really good joystick. Um, I gave that to him. And he gave me a atomic purple, I think. It's either purple or smoke. I'm pretty sure it's purple. I can't really tell. I'm kind of colorblind. Controller in exchange. It is Nintendo branded. He just, out of the kindness of his heart, was like, yeah, you want the purple one? That's cool. I'll take the black one. So that was nice of him to do. So now I have a atomic purple one and a atomic orange. I don't know what the orange color is, but I have a see-through orange one and a see-through purple one. So that's pretty awesome. Shout out to my gamer friends that trade with me in real life. It's cool to do that. So I appreciate them. So I thought I'd show you guys that. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace. Happy gaming.